All right, let's talk about adrenal nodules. The adrenal glands are like top hats on the kidneys. Their job is to produce different kinds of steroid hormones, especially cortisol and adrenaline. These hormones are necessary for life because they regulate stress responses that control blood pressure as well as how our bodies use glucose. Because we do so many CAT scans for other reasons, we often find nodules in glands by accident, and these are called incidentalomas. What happens if we find an incidentaloma in the adrenals? The first thing is to determine if that nodule is making any hormones at all. We will check a combination of blood tests as well as 24-hour collections of urine. If any of those initial screening tests are positive, we have to follow up with confirmatory testing. And this may test blood, saliva, or another 24-hour collection of urine. Sometimes we have to do dynamic tests, and that might involve using a medication for stimulation and then measuring your hormone responses afterward. The second thing is determine if the nodule looks benign or looks worrisome. The first CAT scan can tell us the density of the nodule by measuring the Hounsfield units, which we abbreviate HU. If the nodule measures less than 10 Hounsfield units, the odds are almost 100% that it's benign. If the Hounsfield measurement is more than 10, or the nodule looks irregular or larger than expected, we have to follow up with a specialized CAT scan with a contrast dye. If all the hormone tests are normal and the nodule looks benign, we don't have to do anything else. If the hormone tests are normal and the nodule looks a little funny, but not clearly worrisome, we would plan to do more CAT scans in the future to make sure that the nodule doesn't change. Or we may go for a specialized scan called a dotatate scan. What if that nodule does look worrisome? What kinds of things are we worried about? Well, a pheochromocytoma is an adrenal tumor. It makes up four to seven percent of all incidentalomas, so it's quite rare. And this is a tumor that produces adrenaline it would need to be treated with surgical removal. Adrenal carcinoma. Literally, the odds of this tumor are one in a million. Because it's so rare, this should be managed at a large academic center that is experienced with this disease. Metastatic disease from other cancers. We usually know this from the initial CAT scan and the patient's history because these kinds of nodules have a very particular type of appearance. Should we biopsy the nodule if it looks worrisome? No. If we are worried about cancer, the biopsy cannot give us a diagnosis, and it carries a risk that the biopsy procedure can seed cancer cells outside of the adrenal gland. If we are worried about pheochromocytoma, a biopsy procedure can cause a hormone crisis. How are hormonally active nodules treated? Surgical removal of the nodule or adrenal gland is usually the first line treatment. Depending on which hormones the nodule produces, the patient's preference and his or her candidacy for surgery, there are some medical treatments available. When you have questions, the Columbia Adrenal Center has a section on its webpage about adrenal incidentalomas, the endocrine surgeons at endocrinediseases.org has a section about incidentalomas, and of course the Mayo Clinic has sections on benign adrenal tumors, adrenal cancer, and pheochromocytoma.